and avoid hazards. In this lesson, you will learn shop safety procedures for the workplace. Let's start with the most obvious safety procedure. A simple but effective way to keep you and your coworkers safe is to keep your working environment clean. Chances are, if you have kids, you constantly have to remind them to pick up their toys. You do this not only to keep a neat house, but to prevent anyone from tripping over toys or other objects scattered on the floor. It is the same in the machine shop. If you see something on the floor, simply pick it up. Keep the floor clear of all stock and tools. Tools or materials such as round bars could cause someone to trip and fall. The same rule applies to oil or coolants that spill on the floor. Another common hazard in a machine shop is oil rags that have been used to clean tools or machines. Because they have oil on them, the rags could easily be ignited by a spark from a nearby machine. Keep all oily rags in an approved safety can to prevent a fire. Although there is equipment to transport heavy materials in a machine shop, there will be times when items will need to be carried by hand. Let's talk about lifting and carrying. You need to be careful when carrying heavy equipment or materials. If you need to carry something over six feet long, it should always be carried in the horizontal position. If the material is both long and weighs over 40 pounds, it should be carried by two people. Now let's go to a not so obvious machine shop hazard, compressed air. In a typical machine shop, you will see compressed air hoses all over the shop hanging from the ceiling. You never want to walk by or casually pick one up. This hose contains highly pressurized air, and if it breaks or the nozzle on the end comes loose, the hose will whip about wildly and may injure you. Again, just like the potential dangers that lurk in your house, this one is easy to avoid. You can prevent accidents by making sure that the supply valve is turned off when it is not in use. When in use, always make sure that it is pointed away from you or anyone else. Also, you never want to use the hose to blow metal chips from a machine. Although it seems like a quick and easy way to clean the chips, the air can propel the chips into the air and hurt someone. Always use a brush to clean metal chips from the machine. We have just covered some very important safety procedures. Complete the following exercises for a review. The fourth type of danger in a machine shop is fire. Just as you can start a fire in your home when cooking, you can also start a fire in a machine shop when using heat treating processes. Although you can prevent many fires by using safe workplace practices, you also need to know what to do in case of a fire. Every machine shop will have fire extinguishers, but there are different types of extinguishers for different types of fires. It is important that you know which one to use for a particular type of fire. There are three types of fires. Class A fires involve materials such as paper, wood, or cloth. Class B fires involve burning liquids such as gasoline or oil. And Class C fires are fires in live electrical equipment such as a motor, switch, or appliance. On a Class A fire, you should use a pressurized water fire extinguisher. You need to use a dry chemical type fire extinguisher on Class B fires. For Class C fires, you can use the same type of dry chemical fire extinguisher you use on any Class B fires. In addition to other types of fire extinguishers, there is also a dry chemical multi-purpose fire extinguisher that you can use on any type of fire. Make sure that you know where all the fire extinguishers are located in the machine shop, as well as what type each one is and how to operate them. Electricity is another potential danger in the machine shop. In general, you will not need to worry about this unless you do machine maintenance. Just as you would unplug any appliance in your home before you try to work on it, you need to unplug a machine before trying to adjust or repair it. If it is permanently wired, the circuit breaker will need to be switched off and tagged with an appropriate warning. In most cases, such as routine adjustments or changing speeds, all you will need to do is unplug the machine. 
So as you can see, keeping safe in a machine shop is pretty routine. Like anything you do, being aware of your environment and taking precautions will limit your exposure to danger.